I really believe in what we are doing with Living in Love and Faith. I think what the materials are showing and the course are it's really helping us to understand more about people's lives and the whole ethos of the course and of the whole process is that we learn from one another and that we learn within our diversity, not just within the church, but in our culture. I suppose I feel this is our moment, actually. This is the task of our generation in the church to be thinking about gender and identity and sexuality. The course is a film course and you can access it on the Church of England website. You join something called the Living in Love and Faith Hub and it's really easy to join up. And then you have access to the course which is in five sessions and it's really all done for you. It tells you when to pause, when to discuss. Um, and it revolves around looking at um, culture, at Bible and faith, and it also has stories, which are actually very powerful um, stories, video testimonies of people who are living in love and faith and interpreting love and faith in different ways out of their own experience. And that's a very strong component of the course. So if you want to engage with it, that is the simplest way to do it, to look on the website and you can easily run a group. There's lots of information about how to run the course, uh, very invitational. I'm really hoping that everyone in Devon who's part of the Church of England will get that opportunity to uh, get involved with one of the courses because I don't think that this kind of thing has been embarked on, certainly not in the same way before. So it, it is with this genuine learning and no, there is no outcome that is already conceived. We really want people to engage and to send their feedback as part of the Living in Love and Faith process. I think there, there are very few people who I guess would be able to come without saying I've already got something already formed about this. Um, and certainly um, I'm a person who, and this is quite well known and I'm open about this, who would like to see some change. But having said that, I'm also somebody who really loves the Church of England. I love the Church of England in Devon. I want us all to be able to find a way of remaining committed as sisters and brothers in Christ and as the family of God. And that to me is what seems really important about this, that we, um, that we really deeply listen and learn from one another. Um, for the glory of God and for the strengthening of the church. I think for too long we've been worried about causing division, but in that people have got really hurt. And I don't think we can do that anymore. I think we've got to be uh, much more open and you know, listening to the experience of others where sometimes they've been, you know, they have felt really hurt or excluded um, from church. And, and I think there's quite a sense of hurt from all sorts of people in this question at the moment. Um, but the answer to that is not to brush it under the carpet. I think it is absolutely the right time to, to be engaging. And whilst I understand that may make us feel anxious, I would just say trust in this invitation to engage. My deepest hope through all of this is that we can find a way both to be a radically inclusive church and to hold together as the Church of England with all its breadth and diversity of church tradition and within our understandings of life experience and gender and sexuality.